Hey everybody, this is Healer Bay, and this is my first episode. I'm just gonna call this Get Into It, okay? <laughs> I just made that up in the car today on the way here, but this is an exclusive interview with my good friend, the Janae Patience, aka hey. Patiently Polished. Hey Janae, girl. how are you? I'm good. How nervous. you feeling? I don't do the nervous? camera thing at all, never. This, is this your first time like doing an interview? I mean, other than like jobs, yeah. yes, like yeah. A, like an actual, you know, recorded interview. Well, yeah. this is pretty cool. Sure. This is actually my first interview. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I've been in front of the camera, but this mm -hmm. is the first time I'm actually doing this on my own. So we're going to do this together and you we're going to take our time and this we're going to kill it. Okay. <laughs> so first of all, I just want to talk about you real quick. So Janae is my real friend. Like I'm talking 12 years, real friend. I'm talking like. I mean, baby, like 17, 18 year old me. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? My real friend. And my real friend is super multi talented. So, you know, mm -hmm. outside of being a mom, you're a teacher. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I remember when you used to do hair. I, and you used to do now my now nice hair. To that a little bit. Okay, I also <laughs> remember when you gave me your sweet potato recipe. I cook. Yeah. Chef, okay. <laughs> I still use your recipe. I did add my mm -hmm. little sprinkles from, you know, my family, but I still yep. use your foundation. Mm -hmm. And now we're adding nail tech. Yeah. Yes. So, you know, I know who you are, you know what I'm saying, as my friend. Mm -hmm. People don't know who you are. You know what I'm saying? Lay back, reserve Janae. I keep to myself. So <laughs> who is Janae Patience, a.k.a. Patiently Polished? And where do I start? Um, I am very much to myself. Um, so this is all very new. Even like on social media, it's very new. Um, but I am a, I'm 33. Okay, come um, on, mamas. I am also a Scorpio. We yes. twin. We have the, we same, have the birthday. same birthday. We have the exact um, same birthday. Yes. This is my twin for real. Yes. I have <laughs> a um, almost 12 year old daughter. Yes. Um, I work. I've been in the, so I do have a full time job currently. Um, I Tell them how you a dean. Okay. I, yeah, currently, well, I will be switching over to the middle school. I've been working with first through fourth grade for, um seven years now wow yeah for seven years and um new i will be taking on middle school role um same thing doing like behavior and like family support um but in addition to that i have always worked multiple jobs like right. you've known me to oh, always, always work I multiple mean, jobs the girl kept two jobs as, as long as I, maybe three most Listen. times it was two sometimes it was three but it was definitely two and that was that I have, I've worked in um, restaurants the majority yeah. of the time, restaurants that also, you know, do it as a nightclub. So I have waitress, I've hosted, oh, I've done coat check, I have um, done bottle service, I've managed, I've done it all. Um, and then most recently, you know, I took on doing nails. I've always been into nails since always. I was like... Ten. Yeah, I remember when we were out still getting our nails done, trying to get into little mm -hmm. Chinese spots, no shade, and you was out here painting your nails, <laughs> shaping them to the fucking T, looking better than ours but when you we was leaving think the salon. Then I couldn't even afford it. I yeah. could not. Yeah. I had just bought a house. I was young. You know, I had, I'm a young mom, a single mom. And a young homeowner. And, Come on. Right. And like, I didn't have it. any money, so I had to cut corners where I could, and that came to me doing my own nails, my own toes my own hair oh my. waxing my own eyebrows like i learned to do it all yes yeah, natural um, mommy didn't have a choice I so love, I but love i've it. always been into nails and hair right. but in those times that's all i could do right so right. that's what it was that's awesome so question yep. multi-talented janae you got mm. chef hair <laughs> i do a fucking mean. teacher your masters a homeowner <laughs> out of all the things you do what made you professionally say, I want to take on this professionally. This is going to be my source of mm -hmm. income. Because you could have went so Definitely. many avenues, so many lanes, and you literally chose nails. And you're good at, like, mm -hmm. everything I named. Like, you're, like, above the bar good. Mm -hmm. It's not even like you're just Thank cruising you, the, you know what I mean? <laughs> you're cruising the line. You're good at it. So why nails? Like, why nails out of all of it? Um... So believe it or not, I do have a bachelor's, I have a master's, I have several um, certifications, but I never wanted to go to college. I never, I had no desire to go to college. Right. Um, that was my parents. Like they pushed me to go, I, yeah. not even a push. I had no choice but to go to college. Um, I wanted to go to cosmetology school and they told me no. 
So I did go to college. I got my bachelor's in um, psychology. Got went, got my master's in criminal justice. Um, I fresh out of college, I started working for the Senate. Hated that. Um, it was cool, but I'm just not a desk job type right. of person. Right. Um, and then I decided to try teaching, which I do love, and I love working with children, but that still wasn't enough. Um, and then I've also, like I said, I've worked in restaurants um, and clubs, and you got to think, I'm working crazy hours. I'm yes. not getting home till 4 or 5 o'clock in the right. morning. The money is good, but I'm barely seeing my daughter. Yeah. I'm working really hard. Right. Um, and and, and was, then I was just like, I if I'm going to put in this time, I want to put in this time for something that I really want to do. It. Right. And um, really, it was just... One day I, so like I said, at one point I could not afford to get my nails or anything done. At some point when I'm working two or three jobs, I'm like, okay, I'm going to start doing right. something for myself. So um, I started going to get my nails done. I was getting my nails, my toes done every two weeks. But my lady, it was an Asian woman, like she was really good, older, right. but she she did a great job. I had no issues, no issues with her. She had a family emergency and had to leave and go to her country for a couple of months. Mind you, this is in like, May or June. Sis was gone all summer. So that left me <laughs> so my nails is trying to figure all it out. Summer. Right. Oh. And like now at this point, it's not even like I can do it myself, but right. it was that was my me time. Yep. It was not the best experience. It was a very terrible experience. One day I um I sat in a nail salon for like four or five hours and I hated it. And I'm like, I can do this myself. Right. So from then on. That's where it started. And you know mm. how the girls feel about our nail tech now. Listen. You know how the girls <laughs> feel about our nail techs. And you know, I ain't gonna lie, like, I love to brag that I have a black, Ooh. bomb, beautiful nail Thanks, tech. Girl. She's young. I actually gave you information today at the MBA when a girl asked me about my nails. I was like, oh, yeah, you can follow her. You know what I'm saying? She, you Come know what I'm saying? Come on over. So I actually love to brag on that. So I think it's such a dope a dope thing for you because like I said, like your nail tech left and it was like, hold up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yo, so many girls go through that. Like their nail tech will be on like, um, I don't know, maternity leave mm -hmm. or have to go take care of a family member or something. And, and it's like, okay, do? I know you got to do that, but mm -hmm. what about me? Like, you know what I'm saying? What so, do you do? What do you do? <laughs> yeah. So, mm -hmm. you know, and you touched on it a little bit. Like one of my questions was, how do you juggle <laughs> all of what you do. I mean, on a scale of one to ten, what's your balance meter? Because I just feel like I'm struggling with half of the duties you have. How are you juggling and literally soaring through all of these duties that you do have? You wear many, many hats. Really, there's no answer. It depends on the day. Okay. Today? Okay. <laughs> Ask me tomorrow. It may be something different. You got to think. I still work my full-time job. Yeah. Literally, and mind you, I'm like half Zoom, half in the building yeah. right now. So literally just yesterday I got home from work. Um, my first client starts at 530. I get home at five. My first client is pulling up, go in the house, change my clothes. Let's get it. Um, so it really depends on the day. Right, right. You know, Some days really, is better than others. Other days is that's uh, really all it I'm is. barely um, making and then it. You have to think like you still have to worry about your mental health and your physical health and all those other things. Um, that is Honestly, one of the things I'm still working on, that's right. an everyday thing, right. ba balancing my daughter, yeah. working both, the business, um, supplies, my mental health, emotional health, yeah. my house. Um, like, it's, it's, just always it's, it's always something. It's always something. Yeah. So just question, do you recommend or is it ghetto? Um, <laughs> I, I won't say <laughs> ten out of one ten or the other, but I will say <laughs> entrepreneurship is not for everybody. Right. Just alone. Bump right. having another job. Bump having a family. Yeah. None of that stuff. Entrepreneurship is not for everybody. It is not as easy as it seems. Um, people kind of glorify it. Right. And you know right. how that thing on Instagram was right. like, you know, don't get a Birkin, buy our LLC or something like that. It's like, baby, Child, give, that's not give for me everybody. the Birkin because I'm, I'm washed. I can't Sometimes do it. Sometimes I wish I had that Birkin. I'm not even the bad <laughs> girl, but um, it is, it has its advantages Absolutely. and disadvantages. Yeah. yeah well, well, you're doing the, the thing. Thank you feel what I'm saying? Right. So, you know, and we are here for it. So in saying these things, do you feel like, you know, some things can take away from like some of your other superpowers. Like for example, I heard you touch on your daughter. Like, do you think sometimes that it, you know, these things take away from little other areas that you're trying to accomplish as well? Yeah. And, and, and yeah. for you, it's worth it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
I will say a lot of times my daughter might get the short end. I can't even say might. She has gotten the yeah. short end of the stick yeah. because of even before this, just like we need money. You know, right. I have to provide. She has everything under the sun she wants and some. And but this is how I got to get it for you. This is how I have to get yeah. it right now. And she is like so understanding. Yeah. Um, I love that. For the most kids. part, she yeah. is very understanding. But, you know, I just try to embed this in her. I'm doing this right, right. now so that right. at some point. We don't I don't have to have do this. To do this. I'm hoping right. my life will be smooth sailing in like right. another two years. But she has been riding this wave with me for a very right. long time. Shout um, out to the best friends. Listen, the little best friends. Listen, the only thing that she gets a little fussy about is if I don't cook sometimes. Okay. Like you know, yeah. I might go a week and I haven't cooked because I can't. Right. You know, right. I'm trying to sleep in between everything right. else. But right. Mom, that, yeah, I would say that. Yeah, that between her yeah. and lack of sleep. Yeah, that's what. One falls thing off. I really like is how transparent you are about that because I know a lot of times we want to make it seem like we have all these things together, mm-hmm. and sometimes it is hard, and sometimes mm-hmm. you are going to have to sacrifice, and even sometimes your kids do get the short end of the stick. Not because you don't love them, but because I'm trying to provide for them. And I think sometimes it gets misconstrued and some moms do feel bad. Like, dang, but sometimes, you know, something has to go without. Mm-hmm. Shoot, we going without without sleep, without, you know what I mean? Shoot, a man, mm-hmm. I don't know. Like, we got to sacrifice mm-hmm. a lot to be able to do some things that we want to do. Mm-hmm. And sometimes it doesn't mean that you're a bad mom. It doesn't mean that you're all it's over the life. place. It's life. It is really life. And you're a walking mm-hmm. testament of that. And, you know, I think other women do need to see that, that there's other women that's juggling and if they can do it, I can do it. And if she's doing it mm-hmm. and if her baby, okay, my baby <laughs> won't be okay. That baby is not going to starve. I mean, okay? I try to <laughs> tell, you know, like I said, I work with students, yeah. um, a lot of their parents are like my age and or younger. Yeah. But I try to, you know, let them know y'all see the outside. Y'all right, see right. me years removed from the struggle. OK. Um, and let them know. I try to educate them, the parents and the students like you can do this. I completely understand what yeah. you're going through. But like if you just keep pushing, you can actually achieve it and get it done, right, too. Right. It is. It 100% is a lot. I am, possible. That's one thing I will say about myself. I'm transparent all the time yes, with I'm transparent are. with my clients, with my friends, yeah. with my family. Um, you know, I've had my moments with my clients yeah. there and I'm just not having the best day right. and I'm not going to sit there quiet. I'm going to tell you this is going on. Please excuse me. Yeah. But, you know, we're going to work through this. Yes, I love that. And I love that about you. That's actually one of my favorite qualities of you as a friend. You are super just like, girl, me too. Like me or like, <laughs> girl, this is what. And it's just it's, not it's perfect. So good to be able to relate to somebody and I think that's really all people want to do they just want to relate like they don't want to feel by themselves mm-hmm. and it's so good that there are people out there like that because you don't have to feel by yourself it's I think in this day and age people get it so confused especially yeah. with social media like they yeah. see the you know they see the, the ending the glam, of it the glitz and the glam right. of it and baby it's, that's not it <laughs> it's that's not, not it that. it's baby, not we it are tired all. and we are hungry and we are thirsty that's not it that's not it at all it's not real yeah um but it makes it all worth it right. seeing that and being able to post those moments exactly. and have those moments. But don't get it twisted for one second. Okay. Like, life is still for, here. For, the end, for mm-hmm. that end moment, it's a lot mm-hmm. of trial and tribulation that goes on That goes in it. between that. Exactly. Okay. So I'm so happy to hear about you. And I'm so glad that you share some details mm-hmm. that I'm sure people do want to know about you that don't know you. Mm-hmm. So you have a nail class coming up. I do. You got a nail class talk My coming up. My first one. Your first one. Yes. When? Um, it will be May 15th and 16th. Um, a little bit about that. That yes. really kind of came from just my experience yeah. in looking for a nail school, right. going through nail school yeah. um, and taking outside classes. Right. Um, I learned way more in my classes that I took outside of nail school than I did in actual nail school. Right. Um, my state board prep instructor was amazing um and i passed on the first try for both theory and practical but the actual work that goes into nails all like the little tiny tricks and nuances that go into it um that's that's the part that the that's the hardest so for me i kind of just want to merge my love for nails and education. Like, yes, I, education I, I was just passion, thinking that. I, I was like, merge wow, like yeah. you're already a teacher mm-hmm. and now you're teaching something that you're actually good yes. out outside of a yes. curriculum that, yes. you know, the state and they tell us yes. to teach, but something mm-hmm. that you're really good at in the ways that you figured out work best for you mm-hmm. even through that, pro- mm-hmm. you know, through that trial. So, you know, I think that's super cool, like that you're going to go in and teach your class 
what are they going to learn? Like, what are some mm-hmm. things they're going to learn in this class? Well, um, it's for me, I feel like I'm catering more to beginners. It okay. will be a two day course um, because I took I've taken both a one day course and um, a couple two day yeah. courses. And my one day course was amazing. Yeah. But I felt like that's definitely not enough time as a beginner yeah. to learn everything that mm-hmm. you really want to mm-hmm. you, that you really want to learn. Um, so it will be everything down to my full list of vendors and supplies that I use on, going share, through that I will tea. do live demos I would like to do a live demo on one of the students just yes. as a gift to them oh. um, of course they won't have to pay for it none right. of that um, it will be application shaping is my biggest thing if you have ever been and to baby me, get into this shape know, because one I thing about it is Janae is going to shape you yes. right one thing about it listen shaping is half the battle um, application a little bit on designs I'm just honestly I'm just getting into designs yeah. I think that that is you choose your designs based on your clientele so that's a whole nother thing but okay. I will tap into that a little bit um you will get a full kit it will be a young nails kit so it's all name brand stuff Come you will have everything that you need to get started um so that will be over two days yes. um and I want us to really just bond too yeah. like once you leave me I want all of your classmates yeah. and myself to follow each other on right, social media and right. give each other Expand the tips network. and tricks. Like I right. want us to stick around. I want it to be like a mentorship. I didn't really have that starting. I yeah. didn't have a, a nail family. I'm new to Instagram. So any my nail family is people that I found on Instagram. Yes. So I want it I to be people I love that there. so yes. much. Come on, nail family. Yeah. And what I will say is, wow, I have, well, being one of your first clients. You my know what first I'm saying? client. You, you, know what I'm you were the first client. Being yes. your first client, my first set was fire, first of all. And I remember the day you did my set, and I was like, nah, Girl, she not dead ass. Three and a half hours. I was like, she didn't do this for real. No way. Mm-hmm. There's no way because she did it better than the lady up the street remember, that did my you nails. kept pressing me to do yeah. your nails, and I was like, I'm not ready. She I'm not ready. ready to do nobody. But you did them, and they were so nice. And I literally watched First of all, I've been with you ever since. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? And I have watched you, oh my God, between shape, between design, between mm-hmm. the quality of your products, surpass the people I've been going to for years, you know, and I would refuse to go anywhere else. Like, you already know, I'm on your line. <laughs> Heavy, sis, where you at? What you mean, your book? I can't. I got Please you. We'll help figure me. it out. Something. <laughs> So, you know, I'm super proud and happy to see the success that you have gotten through this journey already. Like, it's Thank just you. out of this world. Like, I didn't even imagine what it would be now, even then. So, I just want to, first of all, give you Thank your flowers, you. sis, because you're doing your it's damn thing. It's been a thing. lot of... You're doing if your y'all damn thing. only knew, it's been a lot of tears that <laughs> went into this. I know. Uh, it's been a lot of tears. And believe it or not, my parents didn't even know that I was in nail school until I was done. Wow. I didn't tell anybody. Wow. Um, you just I went didn't, for it. To me, I was getting more negativity behind it and okay. less support. Mm-hmm. Dave was the only one that like right. really backed right. me on right. everything. Right. Um, but for, oh, he heard a lot of <laughs> a lot of yeah. crying, a lot, a lot of, of fussing, a lot, a lot of stressing, of all, right. and really Layla, like, yeah. they were the ones rooting me yeah. on, and, like, my friends, they were absolutely yeah. there to support, yeah. but, um... You really yeah. took that leap of mm-hmm. faith without, you know, a big support system. Mm-hmm. And sometimes you got to do that, though. You know, sometimes you got to get those goals out your mm-hmm. way by yourself without even getting the feedback, getting mm-hmm. it, allowing it to get jaded, tainted You'll or anything. I need to do try. this for me. You'll really never and know. And guess what? Try. It worked out. Yes. It worked out. So so I got a question. Yeah. So one, are they getting a certificate after this class? Yes, you, will okay. get, a, you get a certificate not your license yeah. you have to go to nail school okay. i will never ever ever tell somebody yeah. not to go yeah you have to go to nail school something happens to your client that is a lawsuit okay you need to go to nail school yes but you will get a certificate right so being what my next question was because yeah. i'm sure the kids gonna ask am i gonna get paid <laughs> after this class like am i gonna be able to get some money because that's what mm-hmm. they gonna want to know like can i take your class and do you think i'm gonna be able to get some money <laughs> i mean to me it is really all about what you put into it um i practice every single day and this is like i said before i started taking clients i practiced every single day i came home literally every yeah. single day after practice, my full-time practice, job practice, and practice every day you get in, I mean, you get out of it what you put into it. Yeah. So if you are really working hard, yes. Get all your homegirls, yeah. all your friends. You got some little big booty stripper friends. Get all them too. Yeah. Get them to post yeah. your work. Yes, you will get paid right. for it. But, you know, 
charge yes. what your, your product work. is right, really right, showing. Right. I think my my going price is like forty forty five dollars yeah. to start. It's not that now. Oh, come but on, you better tell them because this ain't cheap. Valentino, no, I know you better you. tell I them. I buy name brand everything. Y'all know <laughs> if I don't have it, I will buy it for my clients, and it's nothing cheap. But um, <laughs> yes, you can get paid for yeah. it. But make sure you have like those Practice. friends and family members that will let you try on right. them, whatever that is. I will be looking for somebody. Hopefully, somebody in one of my classes to do pedicures for me. The money Come will all be all yours. I, I just need it. somebody that right. is willing to learn. And then you get it, more learning from me yes. also because you're in the space. But, I love yeah. And one thing about it, you said you ain't touching feet. I actually don't <laughs> mind. Believe it or not, I don't mind. I have everything for it. Right. I don't have time. Right, 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 I'm right. I'm booked. I was booked for Always booked, April first of all. in two days. So for the whole month of April, blessing? I was booked into the, oh, I love it. It's I went from having blessing. no clients to booked being and busy all month. You can't listen, find me, can't reach me, leave a voicemail. COVID was low key a blessing for me. Not for <laughs> anybody that got sick, but like business wise, right, right. COVID was low key a blessing. Um, Shout out I finished to the nail panorama. school, what, a week before the pandemic hit? A week right. before everything shut down. Wow. And you still my flourished. clientele just took off from there. You still flourished. Yeah. I, I was love working it. illegally, but you I know. I love it. Janae, what is next for you? So after you do your class and you know you're booked and busy, do you have another vision or a dream? And don't give us all the tea, but something that <laughs> maybe, you know, just to inspire yeah. somebody under you that will look at this video and be like, you know what? I won't be just like that girl. Um, ultimately, I of course I want to continue the classes, but I want to get into some of the schools and offer extracurricular classes oh. in nails i would like to hopefully open up my own nail school yes. maybe um we more willing that's that what i would school. love to do i'm gonna speak that into existence yes. um so yes i want a nail school yeah um i want to get in the schools and offer other programs academics are great i like i said yeah. i've been in education for yeah. years i love the academics behind it but i also i'm big on building the whole child yeah. and there's more than just yeah, it's just so many lanes math that people, and, you know, right. science. There's more to it. Granted, nails has all passions. of this in it, but teaching, uh, teaching a craft, a skill yes. is whatever. Yes. Really, what I'm into. And and so many people keep getting stuck in that same cycle, mm -hmm. and then they're exhausted by the time they get out of school because it's like they don't know what to do, mm -hmm. what the purpose is, because they never got to play around with mm -hmm. different things. Just imagine try. if you were were able to pick up like a trade high school and just like, I'm going to try mm -hmm. nails. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to try, you know, like, and they shut off so much of like the artistic world mm -hmm. to the kids like, oh, that's no money in there. And then look at it. It's money all over there. You really never know. But okay. really putting that battery in their yeah. back, like you didn't even know you had this talent. Give it a try. Right. Give it a you try. You're the only one with it, and somebody gonna pay you da 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 for you. You know what I'm saying? So. As much as I'm into nails, I was a little bit more into hair at the time. Yes, but I just took to nails yeah. so much quicker. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm super happy Thank we got you. to sit down. I'm super happy we got to let the people get to know mm -hmm. some of Janae, a.k.a. Patiently <laughs> Polished. You feel what I'm saying? A.k.a. Dean, a.k.a. Chef, First a.k.a. Time. Hairstylist. You know what I'm saying? Come on, your a.k.a.s is wilding right now. So tell the people where to find you. Plug yourself. What, all of that. I am, of course, Janae Patience. You can find me on Instagram, patiently underscore polished. Um reach out to me follow me tag me in any photos any inspiration um i do have a wait list um for when i do have when i do I have opening yes summertime <laughs> is coming so i will not be working you know I, like i said i'm in education i got some free time in yes. the summer so i have some more spots open please look out for my classes um definitely there if you have yes. a uh, a cousin, a little sister, somebody that you think might really take to that and benefit. Come from on this through. Course. It will definitely be reasonably, yes. reasonably priced for this area as well. So come I love through. it. I love it. Miss Patiently Polished, Thank aka you. Janae Patience. Mm -hmm. We appreciate Black queens like you out here doing their thing, thriving, especially Thank in the you. panorama. And you know what? <laughs> Hopefully, we can sit down and chop it up. And next time we talk, you open in that nail school, and we could talk about that journey going yes. on. Yes. So we yes. go with that. Yeah. I appreciate yes. you, Hilly Bay. We are you. out. What's the name of the show again? Get into it. Get into it. <laughs> <laughs>